why you have money why don't you have money money <laughs> how are you 13 you just could drive like like me I was supposed to be a millionaire at 22 actually 21 no like 25. i want to be a 21 year old millionaire <laughs> In a few years since I collapsed 21 and people see how sure when you could end up. Hey, you ambitious. I didn't know just did you want. See, me, I just thought I was brilliant. I, I'm smart. Nini, nini, I'm focused. You got this. I got this. I'm very hardworking. Then you come a million money. Hi. I keep a high horse. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It's, well. it's fine. Oh, my God. 21. Yeah. Imagine that I was convinced and you couldn't tell me shit. You couldn't tell me CS Mac. Add it. Eh. Yo, Tinti Mine is Baby, I know it's casting away And you don't want no way Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my flossom world. So, due to public demand, we have Millie Money in I'm the back. house. I'm back, I'm back. Hey, okay. <laughs> and you guys, you need to look, notice her t-shirts. Me, I'm, I'm like, yo, you need to hook me up. <laughs> I need to hook you up. Yay. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just, I don't know, should you, like, I'll link the video we did above. So just introduce yourself for those who are new to your face. Alright, so if you didn't watch the other video, you need to go watch it. Uh, but my name is Milimani and I am a finance personal I'm a personal finance creator. I'm a fine I'm a personal finance content creator. Yeah. 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 Okay. We like that. We do like that. <laughs> so uh today's topic today hmm, today's topic is uh, lies we told ourselves about adulthood because you're <laughs> As you mentioned in the previous video, we knew each other from high school. So like, you know, when you're catching up and you're like, ah, <laughs> it's not what it was, you know, it's, it's not what we thought. Exactly. Like, no one can actually prepare you for, I'm not scaring you guys who are like, okay, I, I'm, I know my age, whatever is like 24 to 34. So I'm not trying to scare you about life. All I'm saying is that those expectations, just go easy on yourself <laughs> because yeah, it, it just, it's something else. So I'll let Millie probably start with the first point. Alright, so these are things we thought while we were in high school when we would look outside and see adults around us. So yes. these are some of the premonitions we had or some thoughts we had mm. about adulting. No, and the very better. first one <laughs> and the very first one is maybe genuinely I thought um, the degree that you choose in campus is always going to be what you do in life. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I was so stuck up. Like, man, what course am I choosing? Oh my god, they made us choose in like second form two. It was, it was in form four. I don't know. We okay. were choosing subjects in form two. Then I think you were choosing universities in form four. I think it was just messed up. But I remember stressing myself. Like, I really need to th get this right because if I get this wrong, my life my is, life is messed up. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that people who do medicine become doctors. People who do um, education become teachers. People who do law become lawyers like i think it was in my head it was so direct it's a lie we are out here doing things that we didn't study for we have lawyers who are now bakers we right. have teachers who are now bankers we have news you know like it's a mess so there's no it's not linear as i had imagined so in yeah. high school innocent me thought what i do in campo is very very important because i'm stuck with it for life and the pressure, oh my god, the pressure was so real because in your head you're thinking, Yanni, this is it. Mm. <laughs> the wrong turn, it's all gone. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty messed up. So I think mine, the biggest one, was that people don't judge me. I honestly thought that now linked to this, that you are your career. Mm. Okay. You are your career. Yeah, that makes sense. Lawyers are not supposed to do this. <laughs> Doctors was your nekane, you know, there. You know, it was always the stuck up. Like your career and it finds who you are. Yeah. It's like you can't have an identity outside your career. Mm. Yeah, I agree. And if you have a certain type of job, you need to drive a certain type of car. Mm. You can't be in between. You yeah. need to live to those societal standards. And yo, shock on me. <laughs> out here, out here. Because you know, when you get your first job, you're like, ah. I'll get my car in like a year. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's stretching. Me I used to think, but then you know, <laughs> when I was in high school, me I used to think people are just like, I'm on our, why are these people visiting us on foot? <laughs> like, oh my god, you said before Uber, you said before Uber, you people. <laughs> I'm like, what am I coming? I'm a tattoo visiting, like, 
why don't they have cars? Mm. But maybe I couldn't understand it. You tell me you're a banker. Me, I'm thinking. You're banking money. Why are you not rolling in dough? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. It's a lie. Shock. It's a lie. It's the shock for us. <laughs> because, eh, hey, yeah. For me, that was like the, like, it was mind blowing. Mm. It was just an aha moment. For yeah. Me. Yeah, so I'll just have, let you have the floor for the next point. Okay, so for the next one, um, imagine. Mm. And I think this one, almost everyone is guilty because you in that world you don't know. So when I was in high school, I thought adults have it figured out. We don't. <laughs> we don't. We are to try to to not to not try. My good God, I thought they are figured out. They know. They have figured their emotions. They have. In life. They have. Yeah, they have a purpose in life. Oh um, they have figured out who they are. You see, there you're told at when you're a teenager, at you're lost. You're discovering yourself. Mm. Even in adulthood, you're still discovering yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought their finances are in check. Oh like, my god. They, they have it figured out. And now we are here, they are adults. Yeah, we, and we don't. Yeah. <laughs> we really don't have it figured out. <laughs> so that was my oh, second yeah. Kalai. I, I genuinely, honestly thought, when I looked around, you know there is this facade that adults put, or there is this, this level of thinking that yeah. when you are a teenager you don't have. So when you see people around you, uh, you know not to too sour, you know, mm -hmm. but you don't know how many times they cry themselves to sleep. You don't know how many times they feel like maybe quitting their jobs. Mm -hmm. You don't know how many times they are stressed out because of one to end. You don't know how many times they're confused. And they don't even know who they are. And they're changing careers every four months. You know, like mm -hmm. Can't they love <laughs> changing your course? You know, because mm -hmm. you know you look at people in campus changing courses every two years. Mm -hmm. You're like, why are you not figuring it yeah, out? Like, now judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can forecast? You don't know what you want? Surely? At your big age. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. Ah, but life, life now ni nani. Now we have truly learned. We have oh, learned. Oh <laughs> my god. Speaking of figuring yourself out, I honestly used to think therapy is for crazy people. Yeah. And me at a see in Kiwa High School, I I thought that well until a few years ago. Probably two years. If I can just be very honest with right? all of you. Yeah, I didn't think therapy is for everyone mm. i thought therapy if you are suicidal and if you have like chronic depression mm. that's those are the people who go to therapy yeah it's a special like a specialist who deals yeah. with broken people exactly actually that's it mm. broken people wow yeah therapy is for everyone it is for everyone and i wish so many more people could actually but i love like right now people are being open to it and they're accepting it and they're realizing that therapy is way more than just fixing something that's broken but actually just unpacking because so many of us probably wherever we grew up it had an impact to who you are today yes and if you don't unpack the negative parts it it reflects like it 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 weighs you down it really does and i love the episode you did on like mindset mm. and you know those two habits that you have maybe you learned them from your you Folks. know the, yeah. yeah and it's not that they taught you but it was just something you saw and you copied mm. and it's crazy it's and you don't even realize it because when you sit down and you start asking why do i do this you realize it's because you saw it happening and you're just letting it happen again yeah therapy and therapy just the importance of it i feel like it's up until like recent recent mm. where i had the courage to tell people that i do i do i do i do i do therapy sessions mm. before but i was still feeling like there is that I, Connie, stigma yeah there's that stigma yeah. Connie, hey, Millie, I thought you know, <laughs> what's, what's happening was it, was it? Yeah. What's up? What's going on? You know, by the way, I honestly was afraid. And even like, up until this point, like, there's a time I put up a, a WhatsApp status yeah. about, you know, that people should attend therapy because it's important it's mm. for everyone. Even if you're in a very, you don't need a crisis in your life to attend therapy. Mm. You can attend even in the good times. And then my mom saw it on my WhatsApp status. And then she asked me, um, hi, have, have, you, have you ever attended? Oh, wow. Okay. Then I, I sat there for a moment and I was like, Ha, yeah, I just told her yes. And I'm sure that opened a whole dialogue. Yeah, so you know, like, but I had never told her, I had never told people around me, like, especially family. Yeah. Because I just feel like therapy is my business. Like, it's not my business. <laughs> but yeah, so it's important. I agree with you. And it's not for crazy people, it's for everyone. Highly recommend. <laughs> so, Five yeah. stars. Mm -hmm. Highly, highly recommend. <laughs> okay, you have the floor. Okay, so for me, mm -hmm. let me tell you, Stacey. Mm -hmm. In high school, mm -hmm. um, I would see 
poor people, people who are not doing very well in life. Mm -hmm. And I would assume two things. Mm -hmm. Either they did the wrong course in Campo mm -hmm. or they didn't go to Campo. Yani, for me, education, the way my family is set up, education is very important. Yeah. So it's either you did the wrong course that is not well paying wow. or they are lazy. <laughs> or they are lazy. Like I couldn't understand how you don't have money as an adult. Like me see when I get. So for me it was like when you these people they don't know how to panga themselves. Why are they so lazy? <laughs> like when you find a new campo, like you oh, what's what's with you? What, who are we? <laughs> like, we, were, we were on such a high horse. Oh my god. I was on such a high horse. Judging the people around me, judging yeah. the adults around me and wondering why they don't have things figured why, why they don't have money. Why don't you don't? have money? Money. <laughs> how are you 13? You could drive like like me, I was supposed to be a millionaire at 22. Actually, 25. 21. No, like, 25. I want to be a 21 year old millionaire. It's been a few years since I collapsed 21, and people. See, you are when you could end up. You are ambitious. I didn't just do too much. See, I just thought I was brilliant. I, I'm smart. Nini, nini, I'm focused. You got this. I got this. I'm very hard working. Let me come and be you. Hi. I keep a high horse. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's, well. it's fine. Oh my God, twenty one. Yeah, imagine and I was convinced, and you couldn't tell me shit. You couldn't tell me CS Mac, Adze. Eh, yo, twenty one, you're still in campus, right? I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Maybe when I was on a topi, like I was just thinking, I'm going to get out of high school immediately, start a business that is going to boom and shock all of Africa. Mmm, because you're shocking all of Africa. Let me tell you. <laughs> Business, hey, business is something. I'm not even shocked my village. <laughs> <laughs> For your elders. For your hometown. <laughs> that to my family. See, I was shocked, Bando. But at 21, I was supposed to have shocked all of Africa. But mm. yo. So yeah, I thought I thought uh, people don't have money because they either did the wrong thing in Kampo or they're lazy. And that, my friends, is not the reality. Yes, it's not the reality. Mm. Yeah. Hard work does not equal it. Yeah, hard work is not equals to money. Don't hey, don't be lied to. And I think the problem, mm. Stacey, is how we were raised. Because you were always being told, work hard, get good grades, do a good degree, get a good job, be rich. Like it was very linear. Very. You know, so me I'm like, but if I do if I follow all these two steps, mm. then boom. Simple. They yeah. have money. Millionaire at 21. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you for that because of wow. I swear. I swear. That was mean for me. 21. Mm. You guys you should comment and let me know. When did you think you were going to be like that millionaire or you'd break out in terms of your career? I thought, man, say, my pema, Ali, Ali on. Mm, even <sighs> retire, forget about it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, anyway, I will maybe come back and give this story properly when it's a whole story on its own. But honestly, I actually thought that um, by the time I'm 21, I'll have I'll have made my first meal, mm. um, and then by the time like now I'm 25, I'll have my house, my my own house, <coughs> my car. And I, 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 I don't think it's growing somewhere that you're not telling us. Yo, I, <laughs> Maybe I need to go back to that younger self. Yeah, that means Pro probably there's yeah. just something I knew. Because who just see the ground. It's different. Hey, it's hey. Di oh my god. Yeah, but that's a that's a thing that I thought. Imagine. <sighs> to see the judge, by the way. Hey, I'll put the description link below for where she's buying the seeds for this thing. <laughs> to see the judge. <laughs> Oh wow, oh uh, yeah, okay. Let me take a 180 now. Okay, take a 180. So, when growing up, I was so convinced that for you to be a stable adult, you need to be in a relationship. Hot takes, hot takes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, hey, the streets. I'm telling you, hmm. Yes, we joke about how Nairobi dating is just weird. <laughs> uh, is it different in LD? <laughs> it's quite LD to us because it's smaller. It's a much smaller town. So, <laughs> so yeah, like I think the summary for this point, because I'm not even going to go into detail, is just that you just have to take things as they come. Because uh, what was well, the mistake we made, and this is back to the whole therapy is for crazy people. What happens is you go in there, you've already been traumatized out here. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start projecting your fears to this person. Ah, I know you're cheating on me. He'll cheat. Oh, I know you. <laughs> you know all those things. Yeah. You never buy me flowers. He'll never buy you flowers. You know, it's it's 
that's my summary for this point and you don't actually need to be in a relationship and it was until i stepped back and i was like yo as in me i'm done with this <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this she needs to give us a story time what happened what ha happened was <laughs> what happened was anyway eh, no that one that's why i don't think i'll ever expose myself it's not for the internet it's not for the internet <laughs> hey with gafla out here coming hey i can't even do this part yeah hey. because because eventually you know where you're headed is so great yeah. you can't I can't risk winning my dirty laundry right now and then put from a clip from 2021 eh, That time you were running for some office right? in government, you know She couldn't even, you know how that's how they got like yeah. uh, Hillary Clinton Exactly She couldn't keep her man, so how she couldn't keep her country I'm like, excuse your Why? Violence? <laughs> Why? Anyway, my point was, you don't need to be in a relationship you don't even need to be in a relationship to be a stable adult. You're in a relationship everywhere you go, mm. with the people you work with, mm. all those things. It's basically what you implement in terms of how you relate with the person you choose to be a partner with. So, don't okay. Okay, I know I've said this too much on my channel. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Life isn't a tea, something you just rush through. So just, a jacket. Yeah, yeah. What? Imagine I've never had that code, but I like it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's yeah, it's it's just crazy how you can be so scared and end up self sabotaging yourself, and this can also happen career wise. So mm. about the relationship thing, mm. um, let me also like maybe fungwa ro. Ah, tell us, Milima. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. I also had um, in my head when I would look at couples, yeah, I thought they were happy. Oh yeah, this is, I oh, thought yeah. all couples were happy, all homes were working, things all are stable, marriages were they are healthy, solid. you know. Mm, and then, doesn't cheat. Yeah, me just gonna do a story. Me, I just thought this is a happy, very stable family that they do things together, mm. they eat together, they pray mm. together, like yo. <laughs> and even just thinking about how marriages work, me I thought it was purely based on love. That is why people are together. Ah, mm. ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I've come as an adult yeah, now. I've come to all. learn. <laughs> I've really come to learn that relationships are not what they seem when you're younger. Mm. Yeah, it's, some people, it's not flowers. It's not. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not at all. Hey, hey, hey actually, let me even add to this point. This is my bonus point before okay. we go to Willie's mm. point. Mm. What you know? Okay, I'm sure people close to me know this, and it's a fact. I grew up. You know single mother she took really good care of us so something i didn't understand for the longest time is yani ni wote mko na baba mimi too and you know it's something that something about the whole like mm. psychological state of as a kid and then growing up it kind of like denies to you yeah. so i think that's why i was so fixated on being in a relationship mm. so yeah for the longest time i made bad decisions man actually this didn't work out ah mwingine you know, and, and you know that's so funny because for me, it's we were like kind of the same thing where I was also brought up by a single mom. Yeah. But I, my dad just passed on when I was when I was four. But it's funny how that now affected me the opposite to you mm. because I saw my mom do it all, be it all, be successful, yeah. do her thing, raise us properly. I didn't ever see why should you ever be with a man, like for why, like that's why do you need one? Like, like you actually yeah. saw that there's no necessity for it. Yeah, cause I would hear like other people like when I would ask, it was always about oh you know having a dad, they're going to provide for you, they're going to do this. But, but, doing but I'm like, that. excuse you? Yeah, so for this me, crazy. Okay. It's, I just I don't even know how to place like males in my life. Lizuri, like it's still a struggle <laughs> because I didn't grow up with that male energy <laughs> around me. So I just I just don't know. I don't, yeah, for me it's that other way. It, it will take a lot of time to convince me why you need to do with a guy, with a man. Like, why? For why do you need a boyfriend? For what? A husband? Uh, why? Hey, Mesquia Sutas, you guys have. No, 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 no. You have a hand. You have to claim. You have to try and, you know, hey, we are messy. But you can imagine. It's, it's our upbringings mm. and how they have affected us psychologically and if you don't sit back to ask yourself some of these questions mm. and you don't have therapy again yeah. you might never discover why you are the way you are because maybe you discover recently like very recently like super recently I was like ah yeah ah okay now that makes sense oh, like it starts adding up yeah things are just start adding up yeah okay mm. okay so mm -hmm. Is there anything else for me that I I expected when I was in high school? Um, 
No, I don't think I don't I can't I, don't, I can't bring out any other point that I expected when I was in high school about adulting. But hey, he's all. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy, it's crazy. Oh, and so they, they shook us to the core because, like, you have to shed so much mm. in whether mentally or everything. You just have to like forget it because. You know you're 21. You may Peter. You know. <laughs> yeah. You have to just accept that it's it it is what it is. It, it, is, what it, it is, is what it is. So, uh, thank you so much again for coming through. Thank you. This was so much fun to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, this channel is vibes, 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 vibes. By the way, let me tell you, it's vibes. It's yeah. all vibes. I agree. It's vibes. <clears throat> yeah, vibes. I'll keep saying vibes. <laughs> Yeah, but thank you so much for having me again and for all of y'all that asked that i should come back thank you really appreciate you and thank you guys so much for supporting this channel because as much as i'm growing i'm very excited because the fact that people even want to hear what i'm saying and who i'm bringing onto the channel so yeah. please let me know uh you can follow me on my ig millie's will be here mine is here and you just let us know what type of content you want me to check out you can reach out to her you know let's let's keep working together on this so yeah like this video if you've had a few laughs and also subscribe first of all i have a policy why should you dislike how do you dislike a video why, why can't you just tell me why can't you just tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me what, what was wrong with the video give, feedback is amazing give this video a thumbs up and smash it. Yeah, in my channel, we smash that subscribe button. So yeah, I really it. like that mantra. Yeah, smash the subscribe button. Yeah. And of course, share this video. And thank you so much. I'll see you again next week, guys. Peace. Bye.